Mr. Aris. Hello again, Siti. Have you been practicing your writing lately? Oh, sure, Mr. Aris. I believe I'm getting better and better every day. Well, today we're looking further into notes expansion again. You're familiar with that, I believe. Yes, it is the part where I am requested to write sentences based on a series of pictures. All right, Siti. Let's get started. Observe the given pictures. The pictures in this section can relate to an activity, an incident, a place, a plant, an animal, people, or other situations. Here is the question. The pictures below show an accident. Use all the words given to make sentences to describe the pictures. You may use the words in any order you like to make your description interesting. First, study the pictures carefully. Understand the order of events. Pay attention to the words given. So, Siti, have you read carefully the information given? What is it about? It is about an accident that Shamsul saw on the way to school and how he decided to give a helping hand. That's right. You're ready to construct your sentences now, aren't you, Siti? Of course, Mr. Aris. In order to answer the questions, you are required to build up your vocabulary of adjectives and adverbs to enable you to use the correct and best word. Be careful about using adjectives and adverbs. An adjective is used to describe a noun or pronoun to give more information about the size, shape, color, or age of a person, a place, or a thing. An adverb is used to describe a verb, an adjective, or another adverb to give more information about an action or the state of the action. Pay attention to your tenses. The words given will give an idea which tense to use. Some comparison requires you to use the present tense and some to use past tense. Use conjunctions to link your sentences. This will make your sentences flow smoothly. For example, you can use and, then, so, while, and many more. So, Siti, you may start now. Remember to use all the words given, but it is not necessary to use them in the order in which they appear. Yes, sir. But, just as a reminder, what can you say about the tenses for this question? From the words given, I observe that I have to use the past tense. That's right. Start composing your observations. There are three pictures, so we are going to write in three paragraphs. You may write two or more sentences for each paragraph. Remember to use all the words given, but it is not necessary for you to use them in the order. Use a variety of sentence structures and a wide range of vocabulary to express your ideas. Ideas must be clearly expressed, well presented and linked. Accurate use of spelling and punctuation is essential. So, let's hear your sentences, Siti. From the first picture, I would write, Shamsul was cycling to school. He heard a loud crash. He saw an accident. Very well. How about the second picture? 
From the second picture, I would write, A car had skidded. It hit a lamp post. There were four passengers inside. Good sentences, Siti. Now, let's continue with the third picture. Shamsul stopped cycling. He quickly ran to a phone booth. He telephoned for an ambulance. He was glad to help. That's great, Siti. Basically, those are good sentences. Let's make them better. You already know how to do that, don't you? Sure, Mr. Aris. Reading has helped me a lot. I know I can add more words or perhaps combine sentences to make them sound better. Go ahead, Siti. Give your best shot for this one. Try that for the first picture. For the first picture, I would add... Shamsul was cycling to school. He heard a loud crash from a distance. As he came nearer, he saw an accident. How does that sound? Excellent, Siti. That's the way to do it. You have added more information to the sentence. Now, let's move ahead to the second picture. A car had skidded. It hit a lamp post. There were four passengers inside. So, this will become a car had skidded off the road and hit a lamp post. There were four passengers inside. Very well. You have given a good description of the situation and combined statements to make a good sentence. All right, Mr. Aris. Let me try to make better sentences for the third picture too. Mm. Shamsul stopped cycling. He quickly ran to a phone booth. He telephoned for an ambulance. He was glad to help. So... This would become Shamsul stopped cycling and quickly ran to a phone booth. He telephoned for an ambulance and was glad to be able to help. That was brilliant, Siti. I can see that you have improved so much in your writing. And you seem to know that it is not necessary to use difficult words too. So, you ready to read all your sentences again? Sure, Mr. Aris. Shamsul was cycling to school. He heard a loud crash from a distance. As he came nearer, he saw an accident. A car had skidded off the road and hit a lamp post. There were four passengers inside. Shamsul stopped cycling and quickly ran to a phone booth to call for an ambulance. He was glad to be able to help. Very well. Let's recap. Some of the important points to remember when writing your notes expansion. All right, friends. First, study the pictures carefully. Understand the order of events. Pay attention to the words given to check your tenses. Some notes require you to use the present tense and some to use past tense. The words given will give an idea which tense to use. Link your sentences well. You may use conjunctions 
which will make your sentences flow smoothly. And don't forget to read your comparison after you have completed it. And check for mistakes in spelling, grammar, and punctuation. You may also use a variety of sentence structures and a wide range of vocabulary to express your ideas. That's all for today. Till we meet again, take care and bye-bye. Bye, Mr. Aris. Bye, friends. Bye. bye, -bye.